Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Dr. Invite. Today we will discuss the top 15 questions on the gametogenesis that is asked previously in the exams like NEET, PG, FMG and it is very very frequently asked. So here we begin. Question number one. Haploid number of chromosomes are seen in spermatogonia, primary spermatocyte, secondary spermatocyte or none. The correct option is option number C, secondary spermatocyte. As you can see in the diagram, where spermatogonia is a 2N, that means it is not haploid. Primary spermatocyte is also 2N, it is also diploid. But the secondary spermatocyte, it is N in number and it is a haploid. Question number two. Sperm chromosomes is faster in X chromosome, Y chromosome or both are same or none. So the correct option is Y chromosome. That is because the Y chromosome which makes the boys contains the less amount of DNA than the X chromosomes for the girls. That means the sperm that bears the Y chromosome swims faster in the viscous fluid such as liquid exists at the tip of the woman's cervix in the form of thick mucus. So the correct option is Y chromosome. It will go faster. Question number three. Spermatogenesis begins at birth, five years, puberty or 18 years. As we all know that the spermatogenesis in men begins at the age of puberty, whereas in women it begins itself in the uterine phase. Question number four. Middle piece of the sperm contains Golgi, parites, mitochondria, lysosomes or the ribosome. So the middle piece contains the mitochondria. As we can see in the picture, the head portion contains the acrosome, nucleus and the centriole. But the middle part can, contains the spiral mitochondria. And the tail region contains the plasma membrane, flagellum and the axial filament. So we can solve many questions keeping in mind that what contains in head, middle piece and tail. Question number 5. Meiosis in spermatogenesis occurs at which of the following step? Primary spermatocyte to intermediate, primary spermatocyte to secondary, secondary spermatocyte to round or round spermatocyte to elongated spermatocyte. So the correct option is primary spermatocyte to the secondary spermatocyte. As we can see in the diagram, the spermatogonium is converted into primary spermatocyte through the mitosis. Whereas the primary spermatocyte is converted into secondary spermatocyte in the phase of meiosis 1. So the correct option is primary spermatocyte to the secondary spermatocyte. Question number 6. The independent assortment of the maternal and the paternal chromosomes occurs at which stage of the spermatocyte maturation? Spermatogonia to the primary spermatocyte, primary spermatocyte to secondary spermatocyte, secondary spermatocyte to spermatids or spermatids to spermatozoa. The correct option is from the primary spermatocyte to the secondary spermatocyte. There is an independent assortment of the maternal and the paternal chromosomes. Question number 7. Which of the following is not true about the blood testis barrier? It is formed by the Sertoli cells. It is formed before the primary spermatogenesis. And any rupture of the barrier can cause immune response to the germ cells. Germ cells are not necessary for the formation of the barrier. So the correct option is B that it was formed before the primary spermatogenesis. This statement is wrong as the blood test barrier is formed by the Sertoli cell. This is correct. And any rupture of the barrier can cause immune response to the germ cell. This is also correct. And germ cells are not necessary for the formation of the barrier. Correct option is option number B. Question number 8. Ugonia at birth is present in which of the following states? So we have to tell about the Ugonia at the birth time. Prophase 1, Metaphase 1, Anaphase 1 or the Telophase 1. So it is arrested in the Prophase 1. Because first we have to see that the Ugonia forms a primary oocyte at the birth. But this primary oocyte begins the first meiotic division before the birth. In the interuterine phase only it's, it's starting its meiotic division. But it does not complete and it's remain in the Prophase 1 and stay dormant until the puberty. So, so this primary oocyte remains in the Prophase 1 stage until it hits the puberty. And this cell division is Ugonia arrested at the diplotin stage of the Prophase 1. Question number 9. Blood testis barrier is located between Sertoli to Sertoli cells, leading and myeloid cells, Sertoli and germ cells, Sertoli and spermatid. The correct option is Sertoli and Sertoli cells only. As you can see in the picture. Question number 10. Which cell undergoes the fertilization? Primary oocyte in prophase arrest, 
primary user in metaphase arrest or secondary user in prophase arrest or secondary user in metaphase arrest the correct option is secondary user in the metaphase arrest this is because so before the birth we have the ovonium that is in diploid state in the embryo and it converts into the primary oocyte through the mitotic division and this stage is arrested in the prophase 1 stage in meiosis 1 that and after the puberty hits, there is a completion of meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 and they will release the first polar body and the secondary oocyte and this secondary oocyte will be arrested in the metaphase of meiosis 2 and after the sperm entry, this secondary oocyte will be converted into the fertilized egg and there is a release of the second polar body. Question number 11. What is the wrong statement about the oogenesis? First polar body is released at ovulation. Second polar body is released at ovulation. Primary oocyte is 46XX chromosome. Cell which undergoes ovulation is secondary ovum. So the wrong statement is secondary polar body is released at ovulation. That is not correct. Secondary polar body is only released at the time of fertilization. When the secondary oocyte is converted into the fertilized egg, then only the secondary polar body is released and this is a rare condition. Question number 12. When will the first polar body form? 12 hours before the ovulation, during the LH search or on the 14th day of the cycle or 48 hours prior to the ovulation. So the correct option is 12 hours before the ovulation. So the correct option is A, that is 12 hours before the ovulation. We all know that the second polar body is formed only at the stage of fertilization when the sperm entry is made and the secondary oocyte is fertilized. But the first polar body is formed 12 hours before the ovulation. As we can see in this diagram, that there is an LH search 24 hours prior to the ovulation. But during the peak of LH search, the first polar body is formed. Question number 13. Which of the following is false about the spermatogenesis? A. Spermatozoa are formed from the spermatogonium. That is correct. Take 74 days to complete the cycle. Yes, it takes 74 days. It is the largest cell is the primary spermatocyte. That is also correct. But the meiosis occurs after the secondary spermatocyte stage is a wrong statement. As you can see in the diagram, that meiosis occurs after the primary spermatocyte stage, not after the secondary spermatocyte stage. Question number 14. Heart begins at week, week 4, week 5, week 6 or week 7. Here we have the inappropriate information in the question. So here the multiple options are correct. That is option number A and option number C. As the heart begins at the week 4, if it is a post-fertilization time, and it will be option number C, that is 6 week if it is a gestational time. Question number 15. All is true about the development except implantations occur 20 to 22 days in the menstrual cycle. Implantation occur 20 to 22 days post fertilization. Embryo is still the 8th week of the fertilization. Fetal stage is termed from 10th week of the gestation. Here, the option number B is incorrect as the implantation occurs on the 20 to 22 days in the menstrual cycle, but it occurs on the 7th day of the post-fertilization. Here on the 20 to 28th day and post-fertilization it is the 7th day. Thank you everyone for watching my video and if you like please do subscribe, like and comment.